Seven more men are fighting amongst themselves. I'm so weary. Is this what I wanted? The encampment is split into factions. Now I'll see shrine and rest by the fire, gathering much need strength for tomorrow. Day 183. Dagon betrayed us. Who'd have thought? I think Bibby is treachery. The ship is burnt. We are doomed. The howling is getting closer. spell called fetch oh. which did nothing Restoration cures and heals. They're fucking wolves. No. <sighs> fucking fire doom staff, you idiot. Absolute emergencies. Welcome to uh, uh, no H in it. Hamlinburg. Uh, yeah, it's the DOS version. This was never released on console, Serpent Isle. There's somebody else carrying arrows, I can't remember. No, we genuinely are finally running out of arrows. Do that infinity bar now. Don't know if really we should be going this far, but oh, trappers. Is there any trappers who aren't just immediately hostile? Of blood 
and bell parts outside. Hazard's Ledger. Pelts. Glendor. Miri. Chance Falco. Cellular Monitor. Golden Thorn. Tonaldo Moonshed. Yolinda Jorin. So. Yeah. My fellow trappers, great to be heading north when you be reading this message. Make sure you gather care and protect goods well. If we find out you let some nerd will steal our goods, I'll press his skin every one of your bastards, hang your hide on the walls, and eat your black hearts for supper. By the way, don't be looking for the wonderful glass sword that appeared after the last storm, for I took it with me. I'll be heading back to the north. This fancy sword should be my end if you slay some dragon or other face and beast. Slaughter a beast in my honour, has it? And so he's got me glass sword. There's something trying to attack me. The ball. I've actually killed it as usual. Now, why they don't do a death blow, I don't know. So at least I know where my glass sword's gone now. My original one. sleep spells. I thought we got rid of the fucking uh, cube generator back in Britannia.
hello. So I probably shouldn't have come here yet. Why the hell not? I always get confused with that, it's G isn't it? Not double E. G A N N T. That isn't a word. There is no G R, is there? No, Gam. Gam. The. Born. What? Gant the barn. Uh, bard, sorry. W A N D Wonders. No more. Oh. What? I hate when they put names in because they're so difficult to determine from what it's supposed to be. Oh, for God's sake. Hello, adventure readers. Well, well, my name is Gant the Bard. Well, we do fucking now, don't we? Sing my songs, write my poetry for the joy. Though many know me, most do not know my life, or at least how I came to this end, read and read about the adventure, if thou sent justice to thine heart, only pity in thy soul, then thou'll seek vengeance for mine untimely death. Untimely death, if thou heart yet, heart adventure has any sense of duty to avenge evils, then I must seek out the craven and cowardly Captain Stokes of the rusty old bucket, the Mustang, I act just payment. For alas, since I am not of this world, I cannot. One day I was in the end of Loot and Bolt with my loot, not bothering anyone, perhaps in my trade, one can... The swine, Captain Stokes. The immortal swine, Captain Stokes, billowing foul fog upon us with his ill smelling fag. Seeing that no one in his fair establishment could stomach the pungent smell of his tobacco. Why did that just close? With his tobacco like rot, I dared him to ask to put it out for his sake of all my, uh, all my health. He stared at me, then turned a blind eye, back to strewing my loot, till again the smell began to bring tears to my eyes. Again I asked him, begged him to stop, again he turned away. Finally, his gentle ladies began to leave for air, and good children began to cough and cry from the captain's reeking root. I tried once more, this time though. He answered with the blade of his dagger. He thrust it well through my loot and into my entrails, stuffing it deep into my belly. He grinned and twisted the blade, not once, not twice, but thrice. Being but humble bard and quite mortal, I had little choice but to expire. I fell in the pool of my own blood, my hand strumming my last cord as I fell. I see a beggar thee to give me peace, except vengeance for my death. For these keys is Ron Hovel, which I was most to the west of Thorn. Of the forest of night's test. Many other got an instrument stuff hide in his house, so they'll wares, beware them. Please, noble adventurer, exact justice for my death, and exact tell from my evil captain Stokes. Do this, and my spirit rest peacefully. Gant, I know where that house is. Tell you what, I ain't fucking going out way back there. Not yet, anyway. Back out. Right, can we get everybody out of there? It only seems to work on some debris then. Well, was that the whole purpose of this entire dungeon? To get the key for a house? It's a dungeon, it's not that, is it? A cave. Yeah, 
goblins. Bored of you the first time I met you. It's just a maze of stairs then, is it? Chilly, nippy out. Oh, the pain then is near. What thou? Name's Fitch. Me and Mr. Trappers for Hazard. What happened several days ago? We were camped by a nearby cave when we were attacked by a sorceress. Here she was, strength dead, men dead before knew it was upon us. She slew. We slew her. Though she took many men with her, and she fell. And I survived, although not for long. I'm glad that's fine. Me, I'd have hated to have died out here alone. <laughs> Right, well, do you know what? We're completely ill-equipped for this. I'm going to start taking damage. So we need to come back here later. I don't think there's actually anything here to find that's important really so this takes us you know you see go there you are you there. I am Maudgrim, master of these forests. Nice face. Correct, I'm the forest master, friend to Windrunner, former protector of Illyrion, and now refugee of Pagan. Of course, that will mean nothing to a foreign alliance. Of just that I can speak to animals and trees. Do not speak, knave. Pagan. Ah, Pagan, a wondrous world. Far better than this miserable place. At least it was it before it was destroyed by the evil one and his followers. He is the destructor of worlds, one who calls himself the Guardian. Ah, but why do I speak of this to thee? What was thou known as him? The followers of the evil one were a legion, and they declared war upon all who did not fall in tribute to their master. I'm proud to count myself among the enemies of the evil one, and I'm proud to have earned his wrath. 
his followers in their cowardice set fire to the forest. Even the great tree of life, Illyrion, burned. Using all my powers, I was able to obtain silver seed from within Illyrion, but in the effort, the flames took away my sight. The agony was unbearable and surely died in the dead forest of my dead world, if not for the true friend, my one true friend, Windrunner. He saved me so that one day I could become a protector of a new forest, but I've been blind since that day. Through his efforts to escape, and used the last of my magic to escape, we found ourselves here on the Serpent Isle. Uh, that would be this place. I've seen this caretaker of trees of the lands for several centuries. It seems that time does not pass at the same rate here on my world, but I'm sad to say that my powers are not where they once were. Now, this forest, this entire world, is dying, even if my old world did. This world will not die with a scream, but with a whimper. Not torn asunder by some terrible devil, but generally fallen into slumber of death as great cosmic forces shift out of alignment. Speak to animals on trees, far more interesting to speak to an animal or tree than it is to speak to thee. I can assure thee of that. Much better conversation. Why it's through his talent that I'm able to speak to the Hound of Doskar, for example. Ah, handy. Unfortunately, I'm having a problem with most of my other magical powers. The stories that Hound can tell, I can talk with the Hound of Doskar for hours. It's a great mystical beast capable of tracking any sort of creature. It can track across worlds and is often ranging on the scent of one usual thing or another. Before the Hound of Dusk, I can track. I will show it an item belonging to the person who I wish to seek. An ailed item, it must be something which reflects the soul of the lost one, something personal, something of the heart. And the Hound can guide you to the general vicinity of it. So, the thing doth dwell. Nothing can stop the beast. Confess I'm not comfortable with the magic practice on this world as prescribed by the sorcerers of Moonshade. I suppose I'm simply not used to this. It, this world is played by such chaos and imbalance. Long ago, I grew so frustrated by not understanding the way it worked that I put all my power into the living orb, the heart of Illyrium. With the orb, I am as one with the animals and plants of the forest and I am its master, servant and devoted protector. The orb is spiritually connected to me, but it's been stolen. Dragon, the leader of the mining camp that's elsewhere in the forest, came traipsing through here with some of his friends one day. They reached my sanctum while I was away and stole my orb. The man's full with another problem at the time, so I sent Windrunner and his mates after the, the wolves killed all of them, save for Dragon himself, but he threatened to destroy the orb if I not let him go. Since that time, he has escaped me. Oh, God. Now that Dragon possesses the orb, he's nearly as powerful as the eye, and not as powerful as I once was. Over time, my powers have diminished even more than I am. Uh, even more, and I am no longer capable of challenging for possession of the orb. It's virtually impervious to all forms of harm. I doubt that was fair better than I have against him and the conflicts have all but killed me if i were there i would try to reason with dragon dragon he'll not listen to me for we are enemies but you might have a chance would that like to try to retrieve the orb yes that true friend if a strange one i'll give a word of warning wolves and bears and boars of this forest are very hungry there was a time not so long ago when i could have assured thee that no harm would come to thee not only while they're in my forest but all across the world not uh, only hath my magic gone but as i'm certain those know this world is off kill her Nothing is certain anymore. Good luck to thee. Group of miners driven delirious with gold fever sold everything they owned and came here some time ago. Found nothing. We were driven to the brink of starvation. Most of the miners tried to leave, but for they were eaten by the wolves. And they were driven away because of dragon's demands. Constant work. Terrible tragedy. That would be the other problem. Hazard the Trapper. Perhaps I have heard of him. It's all these men of some renown in certain circles he and i have come against each other before i bear no grudge against any who hunt in my forest for food no one who makes their living as a hunter but this hazard as he's named no sense of love or anything save to kill he hunts and kills without ceasing no bloody with bloody and painful methods none of the predators grace like the wolves i cannot abide a man such as he connected my thoughts emotions perceptions my soul is all tied into the orb the heart of Illyria and his leg unto my own heart beating in my chest i have lost the orb I am as a dead man walking. I cannot heal the land. I cannot even summon the Hound of Doskar for a decent conversation. Ever since I have lost contact with the orb, I am weakened that I have not been able to produce a call that the Hound is capable of hearing, even those long floppy ears on that miserable mongrel. Bah! So we cry the Hound for some reason. Yes, I cannot help thee until my orb is returned. What a surprise. The land does sorely need healing. I must travel this forest. The trees are tall but brittle dry. Soon there will be life for some bear. The wolves in this forest are already becoming quite mean, as I am certain I have noticed. All the wicked resource sources are too valid. 
For example, you set off storms, surely I'll film you then we had nothing like this on Pagan. It's completely unfair with just my powers. Windrunner, a great grey wolf, my longtime friend, is also a refugee like myself. We've been through many adventures together. But everyone was a magnificent tree of life in the world of Pagan. How could I not know such a thing? It stood as a symbol of peace and endurance for more than a millennium. Its branches stretched across the sky. It was the last long line of noble and dutiful protectors. I was the last in the line of noble and dutiful protectors of Valerian. I was the bearer of the silver seed and the prime target of the evil one and his followers. My lord, fate has burdened me with a tremendous weight. Silver seed was split open in its destruction and just God and its magical powers have seeped from it. The task was mine to plant the silver seed. If I survive the cataclysm and the cataclysmic end this land faces, I failed in that duty now too. Only the tales are true. Magically, it may be, it is not but a seed susceptible to the rigours of the world around it. I know not when, but the thin shell of the seed split apart. The contents wherein the magic of the seed did dwell were mashed and beaten unknowingly in my own body whilst I tried to escape. The magic within died. I did go to the Zenkin monks for aid in my quest to make whole the seed. They could not heal it, but they told me of a passage in a decrepit book. It was penned by a scribe and a long dead folk who once. Uh, brought to this site, and it hinted that they too would possess the silver seed. Alas, the scribe made no mention of its whereabouts, so it may as well be a myth. It seems that to be the way of this guardian to try and destroy all goodness and life in the world. I spit upon him. Why, if this evil one were here right now, I'd tear his off his head and feed the rest of him to Windrunner. That's what I would do.